Have you ever had a dream that came true? Some people call them uh, premonitions, and some people call them coincidence. Um, I'm still kind of undecided, but I think that everybody at some point in their lives have had a dream that came true or had some kind of a significance later on. I had a dream when I was about 14 years old. Um, in my dream I was on a train. It was an old-fashioned type train, and I remember feeling the vibrations of the tracks. Uh, I remember the smoothness of the seat, that it was a brown seat in the uh, imitation leather, so very smooth um, and cool to touch. And uh, I remember that in the seat across from me was my grandmother, the, the one I take care of now, and my grandfather, and my uncle Mark and my cousin Sarah. My grandmother and my grandfather, they were kind of had their heads resting together and they were kind of dozing. And my cousin Sarah was not in my uncle's lap, but kind of next to him, leaning against his lap. And they were dozing too. They were kind of all sleeping. And it was just, it was a real peaceful kind of ride. And I remember the train came to this slow stop. It just kind of eased into this place and I looked out the window to see where we were stopping and I saw the most the most amazing the most beautiful place I think I'd ever seen in my life uh, there were these rolling hills and, and just I mean something out of like the sound of music it was just amazingly beautiful and the sun coming through the window was so warm and so comforting that I, I pressed my face against the window and I thought to myself, oh, I've got to come back here someday. I've got to visit this place. This is a wonderful place. And then we, the train started moving again and I looked back over at my family and my grandfather and my cousin Sarah were both gone. And I wasn't sad. I was happy, actually, because I knew that they that, that was their stop, that they had gotten off and they were in this wonderful, beautiful place and that I was going to come back there someday and that I was going to see them. And uh, the train rolled away and that's when I woke up. And I woke up from this dream knowing that my grandfather and my cousin were going to go away. Um, I told my mom about it the next day over breakfast. And she got this really weird look on her face. I mean, the grandfather I'm talking about was her father. Um, and they'd known that he'd been sick for a while. And um, that he wasn't going to last a whole lot longer and it was at that time that my mother decided she was going to go down to Florida and say goodbye to him. So she was actually there when he passed away later that week. Um, my cousin Sarah also passed away um, that same week. Completely unexpectedly. Um, nobody expected her to pass away like my grandfather. They knew he was going even though in my 14-year-old self-centered world, I hadn't really been aware of how sick he was. Um, but nobody expected my cousin to die. She was seven years old, and she died having an epileptic seizure. Um, it was completely unexpected by everyone except for me, because of this dream. And I'm not saying I'm psychic. I'm not psychic at all. I've not really had any other dreams besides that one that gave me any kind of truth or insight into life or death. But I'm kind of wondering why I had the dream. 
Why my mom didn't have the dream about her father. Why my Uncle Mark didn't have a dream about his own daughter. You know, why, why was I the person who happened to know or be told or warned about this incoming death? And was it, was it a warning at all? I mean, um, what do you think?